Hi, readers. It's Miss Juliano back again. And first off, I just want to start by saying you guys did a great job yesterday at looking at character feelings and seeing how they change throughout a book. Because just like our feelings change, characters' feelings change too. And we're able to tell how their feelings are changing by looking about what, at what they say and do. All right, readers. I'm going to show you this awesome new book, Fuchsia Fierce. It's written by Christiane Jones and it's illustrated by Kelly Canby. I'm really excited to read this book to you guys, and I want us to want you guys to be paying attention to how my voice changes when I see different punctuation marks. So punctuation could be, I'm going to show you in a second what punctuation is. Okay, so these are the three types of um, punctuation I want to talk about. Exclamation mark or exclamation point. It goes when a character is really excited or is yelling. It's this mark right here. There's question marks. So it's when you're asking a question. How are you feeling today? A period just goes at any statement or sentence you're writing. And a comma usually goes in between list to kind of show, um, show you where to pause. Um, bold words is also something that helps you know when to change your voice. And they're words that are darker and sometimes bigger in a book. And dialogue is the stuff that goes in quotation marks. So it would say something like, I said. Dialogue is in quotation marks. It is what characters say. And these little things right here, I'm going to highlight them, are quotation marks. And you see them in a lot of books, especially as you become a higher reader. Okay, readers. So now I'm going to go back to my book, and I'm going to show you how when I come to these different marks in a book and these different types of word and dot words and dialogue, it helps me know how to make my voice sound. It's important for you to change your voice when you're reading because it really helps you understand the character's feelings, a little bit about the personality, because when you say things, you usually put feeling behind them. For example, if I was saying, I am so excited, womp womp, that doesn't sound like I'm excited. That would have a period at the end, but if I see an explanation point and I read it like, I am so excited. It's springtime and I'm excited that it's getting warm outside rather than I'm so excited. It's springtime. It makes my voice change and it shows how I'm feeling. So let's look at Fuchsia Fierce. I really like this book. I think you guys are too. There's going to be a link on the exit ticket um, or in your assignment too to sh if you would like to finish reading this book. So. Fuchsia Fierce was a bold name for a little girl. But Fuchsia wasn't bold or fierce. She was quiet, shy, tiny, and timid. She was scared to try new things or stand out in a crowd. So I don't know if you notice, readers, but there's words here that are made bold and put in caps lock. So I changed my voice when I read them. But Fuchsia wasn't bold or fierce. I'm going to show you if I can keep reading and changing my voice. So Fuchsia parents, so Fuchsia's parents decide to help her. Here's a question mark. You're sending me away? So if you notice, when you ask a question, you kind of change your voice, and I have like a little high. My voice gets a little higher. So it goes, you're sending me away? This is her mom speaking. I know you're scared, her mom said, but you will love camp confidence. Okay, Fuchsia said, but her stomach hurt just thinking about it. Think about what is happens after this dialogue. It says, okay, Fuchsia said, but her stomach hurt just thinking about it. I'm going to use the pictures and these words to help me read this. Hmm. I'm going to think about two ways I can say it. I can say, okay, Fuchsia said, but her stomach hurt just thinking about it. Okay, Fuchsia said, but her stomach hurt just thinking about it. Hmm. Readers, what way did Miss Juliano's voice sound better when she sounded okay, Fuchsia said, or okay, oh. Repeat it. Which way do you think? I can't hear you. Oh. I noticed some readers made their voices sound a little disappointed or sad because Fuchsia's face and the things that it said, the author said, like her stomach hurt, would mean that she probably wasn't excited to go to Camp Confidence. Let's keep reading. Upon arrival, 
Fuchsia quickly decided she wasn't going to let camp confidence change her. She would do what she always did, make up excuses so she didn't have to try anything new. For a while, it worked. Fuchsia, it's time for swimming. I forgot my swimsuit. Then you can sit on the dock and watch your friends. Fuchsia, it's time to climb, try climbing the wall. I'm sorry, Fuchsia, it's time to try the climbing wall. I can't, I hurt my finger. Then you can help with the equipment. Fuchsia, it's your turn to tell a ghost story. I can't, I lost my voice. Then you can write a story and I will read it. Oh, who noticed about how my voice changed when I pretended to be Fuchsia? Did you notice that I was trying to pretend that I was losing my voice? So wow, it really helps me to kind of think about what's happening in the story by looking at this picture and the words and the dialogue that's in this bubbles to change my voice. Okay, readers, I'm really excited for you guys to look at another book and try this. So you're going to see in the exit ticket that I took pictures of the pages, and you're going to tell me how your voice should sound and practice reading it. I'm also going to include a link for this book because I think that some of you would be really excited to finish reading it. Okay, readers, remember, it's important to change your voice by paying attention to punctuation. Remember, that's the question mark, explanation point, periods, and commas. Also, it's important to pay attention to bold words. That's the words that are either different colors or darker, darker, and usually in caps lock. That means all big letters. Also, the dialogue. That's the stuff that they're saying. So it could be in speech bubbles or in quotation marks. Remember, quotation marks are these things, the ones that I highlighted. Okay, readers, I'm excited to see you guys and sh see you guys show what you know about your voice and how you should change it. And also, don't forget to practice this on your own reading on Mayan or a book at home. All right, readers, miss you so much. So excited to see your hard work. Bye.